So, generally, if we look at the start position, really, really good progress now from lesson one to now, okay? So, really getting a nice lowercase y. That left hand grip we showed over that left thumb. So, your thumb and forefinger together, and that thumb is in that little sort of hand you've got there, a little groove around here, sitting it like that, okay? So, that's going to really help with the grip position and effectively help the move we want to make. So, if we look at these two moves here, the left hand one being your before. See how your head's kind of almost turning to try to go against the, where the club's going to keep your weight here? Probably as you go there now, you can't really turn, so now your arms and shoulders drag you away. So you've, you've kind of gone, I want to go here. <laughs> and then you get dragged yeah. away from it, yeah? So you're not really rotating your body, and now a lot of your weight's on this back foot. Now as you start back down, you can see your impact, but there's a big drop in the golf ball now. I mean, that's basically where your club's going to be in the ground. Yeah? yeah, that's just before impact. Yeah, the left foot's off the ground, the left foot's leaning back, and as you come to the goal, ball, obviously topping it, left foot doing it, sort of jumping away. So that's kind of where you were. This one, really, really good. Okay, so hinging the wrist on the way back, nice. Yeah, top of the back swing, we're now just inside our foot, which is pretty good to fair. Now, as we come back down, your head is staying effectively as we're looking at the screen here now this side of that yellow line yeah your nose is going to your left foot there's your impact position so your left leg looks a bit more vertical and then when you finish this swing look where you finish yeah. that there to me looks like a golf swing compared to that one there it's like a sort of six runs over extra cover so <laughs> whatever you want to call it yeah so yeah. moving off the ball so that's where if you don't hinge if you can't hinge the wrists yeah your arms are very locked and stiff and they just pull you off the ball. Yeah? And then when you put speed to it, you're like, whoa, yeah. So having that grip correct so you're enabling your wrist to hinge is going to be key. That feeling of, as I said, hand the ball to someone to your left. So when you're here now, just hand the object there. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated, nothing sort of like, oh, I've got to go underneath or over here or around there. Just take the iPad, hand it to someone to your right. Take the golf club, hand it to your right. And then based on that first movement, the wrist is going to hinge high, medium, or low, based on what sort of shot you want to hit, yeah? Cool. Make sense, yeah? Yes, I do. Really good. i got to say, the progression from that, now that was, we still get a couple of, that's kind of your instinct, shall we say. Yeah. But your movement now, when you do it better, you can see a much more efficient golf shot, and yeah, some of the shots going a lot more where you want to go. And again, going from different clubs, that's going to be a big skill to get used to, okay? Get used to practising with longer and shorter clubs. When you went to that five with Hitting it under 20, 130, that's great. It's like a, like a kid's club, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, What's that? Honey, I shrink the clubs, can I? Where's it down there? And then you got used to that, and then you go back to the field. Oh, God, this club is even massive again, yeah? yeah? So getting used to those different lengths of clubs, yeah. Because so when you play golf on the golf course, as we said, you've got to get used to changing golf clubs, yeah? You get used to changing from one to the other to the next. So it's not always going to be this one length club or that length club. So, okay, okay. Very good, mate. Really good.